Carlos Cavasso, Community Manager at PTO Today. And I'm Craig Bystrinski, Editor-in-Chief of PTO Today. And this is the PTO Today Quick Tips video series. And our topic today is volunteer recruitment. You know, sometimes about this time of year, the back-to-school enthusiasm has slowed down a little bit, and PTO leaders need some help with some new tips to bring in volunteers. So, Craig, what's a good tip? Well, one of the most important things in recruiting volunteers is making a personal connection. There's actually research that shows that people are more likely to get involved in an organization if they already know somebody who is currently involved with that organization. It's not really earth-shaking or surprising. If you have a friend who's involved in something, you're more likely to feel comfortable volunteering or going to meetings or that kind of thing. So the message for PTOs in that is it's important to network and get to know people and then when you ask people to volunteer, do it personally. Asking personally, I'd like you personally to volunteer and here's the job I'd like you to do is much more effective than sending out an email blast that says we need volunteers. Right. Those email blasts that have very general requests for volunteering sometimes don't work well. What we see is when a PTO leader puts out a request that's very specific for what they need, giving a time of day, giving a specific job for an event, say you have a holiday shop coming up and you need people to cover the cash register for specific hours, parents tend to respond more positively to that because it doesn't feel like it's going to be a huge time commitment that they're going to get sucked into your event and never come out. They can look at that and say, yes, I have an hour on Wednesday morning to do this and they can manage that amount of time and they're more likely to step up and volunteer. It's also important to give people jobs that fit with their own PTO experience. So for example, you don't want to uh, have somebody who has never been involved with PTO and ask them to chair the fundraising committee, for example. A much better situation would be to have somebody have some positive volunteering experiences, some small experiences, helping to organize events or sort fundraising items or that kind of thing. And as they have more positive experiences, move them up to more responsibility. You'll have much more success doing it that way than trying to get somebody to jump in to be a committee chair or an officer, for example. Right. And one other thing that we'd like to suggest is, especially at the holiday season when everybody's busy, if you have an event coming up, you might feel a little panicked if you don't think you have enough help, but try to avoid the guilt email. And by that we mean that request that you put out that says, if we don't have five more volunteers, we're going to have to cancel this event. What you might get is some immediate response. Parents will say, okay, I'll pitch in, but they might be doing it with a bad attitude because they feel like you're pressuring them. We find that those guilt emails have a short-term gain, but longer term can leave your group with a sort of negative vibe that's going to hurt you in the long run. So instead of a guilt email, just get creative. If you have people who have already signed up to help you with an event, check back in with them. Maybe they have a friend or a spouse that they can bring along for the event to help out as well. So to summarize, volunteer recruitment is a process. It's something you should think about as something you do over a period of time. You create connections and then you move forward with them. So make that personal connection with people. Be specific in your call to volunteers. Uh, ask them to do specific jobs. That's the easiest way to get people involved. Start people off with manageable jobs that are, where, are already within their realm of PTO experience. And be positive when you ask people to volunteer. Let them know that volunteering can be fulfilling and enjoyable. And avo avoid that guilt trip. And doing that will give you significant su success, I think, with your volunteering efforts. I think so. So, those are our quick tips on volunteer recruitment. We hope that they're helpful. And thanks very much for watching.